back to my channel. I Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys know that I am redoing my backyard. Now I'm going to show you guys how the backyard looks when we just bought the house. And then a couple weeks, or should I say about a month or two after moving in, my dad came and he helped us to you know clear the whole backyard make it to make it look really nice he helped us to build a fence and i'm probably probably going to drop that clip in right here so you guys can see how my dad went about fixing the backyard so here's that clip This is the progress of this tour on some gravel here that was in the front yard so it didn't cost me a thing that I ripped up from the front yard. Which what I'm doing here right here. We're gonna put the fence. But for now the gravel is here. And my dad made those two boxes for the plants. So he's going to fill them up now with the rough dirt him say. <laughs> and then he put the topsoil on top of them. We're gonna plant but the plants. So that's where we are. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so now that you guys have seen what my dad did, um, it has got it has gotten a little bit overgrown since that time because we are busy people. My husband and I we don't have no time to cut yard, weed out anything. So because of that, we have to call my dad again, basically. So I decided that I wanted to, you know minimize the amount of um minimize the amount of work that we do in the backyard um in terms of maintenance um so i wanted to put down some um stepping stones some some blocks to put our put our patio set on because i bought a patio set or i made one and i'm gonna show you guys how i did that or i'm or I might, probably i'm just gonna explain it to you guys um so watch me and my dad and maybe my husband redo and of and caleb of course redo this whole backyard okay so move the seating and move the base of the chair and this is what we have left um the sun is really hot outside so I took a break but I'm back so now I have to remove all the that is going on here so I'm gonna try and do that and I'll show you how that looks when I'm done So after hours of fighting, this is what we have left. I'm really exhausted. I don't feel like doing anything else right now. And it looks like it's about to rain. So I'm gonna go and rest a little bit and then see what happens. Because it looks like it's a, it's going to rain. So if it rains, I'll just leave it. To the elements of the weather 
until another day which is probably tomorrow I see how I can transform it but I'm leaving it for now hi guys so if you follow me on Instagram you'll see in my stories that I showed a little snippet of what we did today in the backyard so my dad and my brother came over and they were helping me to put down some pavers in the backyard um, I probably insert it right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about so this is my dad and my my husband they are just um we just pulled up the old um pavers that was there before so they're they're, they're just um removing the gravel because we had gravel down for that area so they're just removing the gravel um and leveling off the area to prepare it for the sun that we're going to pour down so my dad is here my brother is here as well and they're just helping us um yeah i'm happy that my daddy and my brother is here to help my husband because you know i don't think he could have done it all by himself anyway so this is the sand that we're going to now um be putting to we're going to be leveling up i actually only got one bag of sand and by the time we poured that one bag it looked a lot guys but by the time we put on that one bag it was not enough yeah so we put down some pavers today. I actually bought those in Halfway Tree. Um, I linked the the Facebook page to the place that I got them. Um, they weren't expensive. They're were probably like um, I think it was two hundred, three hundred and something dollars um, for each paver, or four hundred dollars. I don't think it passed four hundred and fifty dollars though for one of the pavers. Um, um, so yeah um after we put on the pavers um i actually bought 28 pavers um i think i need some more but for now i only bought 28 um so what we did was we bought i bought some sand actually and we leveled off the the area with the sand and then i had some gravel there before so we just put back the gravel there so that you know to help it to be leveled and to have proper drainage as well and then we put on the pavers on them i left i left a little bit of a space in between them so that um you know we can fill it with some um some more gravel i originally wanted the white one i'm not sure yet because i still don't get it and we're out of the the black gravel so um yeah so that's the updates on what we did today um i'm supposed to get some gravel monday and so as soon as i get that and we put down the gravel and put back the furniture on the the pavement then we'll see how it looks when it, how it all comes together I bought some furniture to put on it. I bought um, a chair and a small table um, to put on it and um, also an umbrella so you'll see that and you'll see the finished look. Um, there is something big that we want to do around that I want to do around there um, but I'm going to leave that to so that you guys can be surprised. It's something that I'm just trying to see if it looks because I want to have this um, focal points in the backyard so um what we're gonna do or, or what my dad is gonna help me to do um is to create that focal point so i'm gonna update you guys as soon as we get that done all right so stay tuned and remember to like share and subscribe my my videos um 
share with your friends tell them to subscribe so they they they, they can see what we're up to and see the decor pieces that we do um one more thing remember guys to click your notification bell so that you are aware of when we upload new content or when i upload new content all right thank you guys so much for journeying with me while i decor or renovate my or a new house um i promise to keep you guys updated on all the renos that we take on i you know jamaica kind of expensive for some things so we have to be doing it a little by a little so i'm focusing on the backyard for now um since as i did a lot inside trying to focus on the backyard and then uh, and then at that point i will come back inside to see what else we can do all right so thanks again guys bye so this is what i did earlier today um i went ahead and put down the remaining blocks what you see here is it, some gravel that I just throw down to fill the inside or the, the, the creases of the blocks that I put down. Um, just to fill the space so they don't shift from left to right or so they stay in place basically. So that's what I did there. Um, yeah, so basically I just filled that corner with a lot of the gravel that I had left over. Um, this is just phase part one of all the things that's left to do. I hope you guys like what we what I've done here. Um, yeah, it was rough. The sun was hot. I was really tired, but I got it done. Thank the Lord Jesus. So yep, yeah, this is the finished product. Um. So this is what it looks like guys. This is a final, final product. This, after all the hard work that I put in, this is what it looks like. So I had some, I had some um, fake grass um, in storage. So I just used those as a carpet um, kind of thing. Um, I really don't like how it looks all that because they are very um slender like so i have to join three of them in order to get the look that i wanted but they'll have to do for now um we i placed some cushions i made some cushion covers um uh, i just reused the old seating that we had in the sofa to begin with and i made some cushion covers and I put them down and uh, put some throw some pillows on it as well and this is what we have left so I hope you guys like it I hope you guys like what I've done with the space and this is what it looks like I really want to thank you guys so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Say hi, Caleb. Hi. And for liking my videos as well. So we're here to remind you guys to remember to leave a thumbs up on our videos and to uh, um, subscribe to our channel. And, and like this video and share it. Even subscribe to that button. <laughs> And make, and make you don't miss no video. There you go. So click that notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Thank you. Bye. Ooh.